For this scan, we used Google.com's main domain, about 100 pages scan, just to show this demo. Again, note at the top the scan date option. We only scanned this domain once, but if we scanned it multiple times, the different dates and times would be listed out here. This is how you can toggle through different reports for the same site if you're scanning it multiple times or on a regular basis. Here at the top is the scan status and overview of what you scanned. This includes the site, domain, number of pages, total found tags, as well as the timing for the scan. If we scroll down a little bit, we'll begin to see some of the data, including the tags found across the site and descriptions for each tag you select. Right now, it defaults to the top tag in alphabetical order, or actually in the number of pages that it was found. So Google Analytics is the most prevalent tag on this domain, so it's at the top. Out of 98 pages, Google Analytics tag was found on 79 pages. That's what this color scheme means. We can click into a different tag to see the tag description as well as the other information about that tag. But for the purpose of this demo, we'll stick with the Google Analytics tag here at the top. If you'd like to share this information with others as far as what tags were found on this domain, you can simply click the Export All button or use our new feature, which is a share button being released soon that will give access to this full interface without having the user that you're sharing this with needing to log in. The tag description for any tag that you have currently selected is pulled from our free Wikipedia library of tags. This library is what we use to categorize and label tags that we are scanning for. You can view more information about any tag that is found on the site that you are scanning as long as you have it selected and you click this view more information option. Notice on all of these little modules we have a minimize option so if you only want to see a particular single module you can minimize the others so that it fits more on the screen. This module here is a common, commonly requested feature that we've had with many of our clients, how this tag was loaded. This has two separate views, but basically what this shows is how a tag is actually firing on the site. With many different domains using tag management systems or loading tags from other tags, this is a good way to illustrate how a tag is actually being called. You'll notice options that are in green is actually the site itself, that is the source code. Anything in red is the actual tag you're viewing, and anything else in gray are other tags that are loading that may be dependent or loading the tag you're looking at. So in this particular example, the source is loading Google Analytics, but so is a few other tags are also dependent on Google Analytics as well. Keep in mind this module here is in beta currently. We are actively working to make it more user friendly, a little bit easier to understand, and cleaned up so it's a little bit more visually appealing. Notice here there's another option for how this tag was loaded. And this shows the tabular format for the same information. For example, it will show the stack trace of how this tag was loaded. So Google.com, that's the site itself, the source, loaded Google Analytics tag right here. This can be useful if you want to dive specifically into one instance of how a tag was loaded. If, for example, a tag is being loaded through a tag management system or not loaded through a tag management system, and you want to see on what pages that specific stack trace is occurring, you can export all pages that contain or have this specific sequence of events occurring. Again, this module is in beta, but we are actively working to improve it. If you continue to scroll down, you will begin to see a little bit more information about Google Analytics. Being a Google Analytics certified partner, we have added some extra GA validation modules here, such as which accounts are firing across the site. We also show basic Google Analytics errors, such as duplicate page views and which GA account that can uh, be occurring with, as well as the pages that duplicate page views might exist. This can help you troubleshoot 
errors with your Google Analytics implementation. With any tag that we scan for, Google Analytics or others, we show these two modules, pages containing the tag and pages missing the tag. This is helpful if you're trying to migrate into a tag management system or just to get a general idea of where your tags are firing and where they are not firing. Finally, another module that is common among all the tags is cookies set by the tag. Again, this is helpful for anybody that wants to deep dive into what the tag is actually doing on their site and what cookies it is creating. So these are the Google Analytics cookies that are created. All modules have export features and any of these modules can be customized based on the tag that you select here at the top. So that is the view scan results specific scan results module. Hopefully this was helpful.